Now we are ready to talk about how to multiply or divide uh, radicals that have different uh, indexes. Here you can see that we have cube root of 5 and we're trying to multiply that with square root of 6. Now you cannot use the product rule here. You just cannot go and start multiplying 5 and 6 to come up with your answer. This will be a little different. The first thing you start by doing is rewriting these radicals with rational exponents. Okay, so you end up with 5 to the 1 third times 6 to the 1 half. Now here, what you want to try and do is with your denominators here, try and make them have the same denominator. So you're kind of doing the whole LCD thing, the least common denominator, but you're doing that only for your exponents. So between 2 and 3, your least common denominator will be 6. Okay, so basically you need to multiply your first uh, exponent by 2, and you need to multiply your second exponent by 3 which will give you 2 sixths on 5 and for 6 it will give you 3 sixths. Okay? So the idea is you are basically trying to uh, give them a form where they have the same index number. Okay? So when you make them have the common denominator you're basically giving them the same index value and now if I convert this into a radical again I will end up with 6th root of 5 squared times 6th root of 6 to 6 to the third. So you can see how we started out with cube root of 5 square root of 6 and we have now converted them into 6th root of 5 square and 6th root of 6 to the third. Now that they have the same index, now you can apply your product rule and you will end up with 5 square times 6 to the third under the same radical and go ahead and evaluate what these numbers will be. So that will be 25, 5 squared, and then 6 to the third will give you 2 16. And multiply 25 into 2 16, and I believe your product should be 5400. So you end up with 6 root of 5400 as the product of this. So even though you start out with different indexes, you go through the process of making them have the same index, and then you start applying the product rule, and you will come up with your answer. We'll look at one more example to get an idea of this uh, different ind indexes. All right, here you have fourth root of x and we are trying to multiply that into cube root of x. So again, like we did earlier, start out by rewriting this as an exponential format with radical exponents, uh, or rational exponents, I'm sorry. So you end up with x to the one-fourth times x to the one-third. Now again, between three and four, your LCD will be 12, your least common denominator. So again, that tells me I need to multiply my first um, exponent by 3, need to multiply my second exponent by 4, and let's see, I will end up with 3 twelfths on the first x and 4 twelfths on the second one. Now again, we'll go back and rewrite these as radicals. So 12th root of x to the third times 12th root of x to the fourth. And let's see what do we end up with. Now, you have the same index on both the radicals. You can go ahead and combine these under the same radical sign. Now since these are both x and x, you can apply your rules for exponents, same base you're multiplying, so go ahead and add the uh, exponents and you will end up with 12th root of x to the 7th as your uh, product for these two uh, expressions here. 
So as you can see, this is a little bit different from what we did earlier, but the more you practice with these, the more easier this will uh, get for you.